Uh, Kafal or not Kafal's, Chris Tyson. Um, we archived all this shit last year. This thread, um, including all the fucking bullshit that's being talked about now, was first posted to the Kiwi Farms on April 14th, 2023. Because immediately after Chris truned out, we dug through everything. We found out that he had a direct friendship with Shadman. He had Shadman art pinned up on his wall. Mr. Beast knew about the Shadman stuff. Uh, he had made weird, lewd comments about underage people. Um, and then for whatever reason, in uh, this month, a couple of YouTube drama people, uh, even like small scale people, did videos about Mr. Beast. And then bigger people did videos about Mr. Beast and, and Chris Tyson. And bigger people did bigger uh, videos on Chris Tyson, <clears throat> which eventually got picked up by Keemstar. Uh, and the attention got more people um, who were alleging that Chris had sent, uh, uh, you know, inappropriate messages to them on Snapchat, um, reached, reached out and were publicized. And a second person did this. Um, if I can just find this. Text from 2018 between me and Chris. I was 14. He was roughly 22. Uh, Chris says, me and my friend made a fucking school shooter threat and might give me his skins because he's grounded for life. Chris says, uh, what the fuck you for real? He says, yeah, it was crazy. It old did the school expel him. Chris says, kicky faces, Chrissy, kissy faces. And then of course, dad. And then this is the best Snapchat I've ever seen. And I don't know exactly what that is. It's like a Mountain Dew thing or something. So he's sending kissy faces to a 14-year-old when he's 20-something. Um, Young says, I, I was 14 in 2018 where I met Chris at the time um, on CSGO, and we'd play every once in a while. He invited me to his Discord, and there were a couple guys on the Mr. Beast crew that joined him sometimes on Discord VC. Um, and they're chatting together. After these leaked out, uh, Chris Tyson deleted his Snapchat, uh, which prompted more people... Um, to look into this shit, and then eventually it led to this massive dog pile, to the point where several Mr. Beast like filming associates are like threatening to do a documentary on him, like to the to the to the tune of like Quiet on Set, where they're gonna come out and they're gonna dump all this shit and say like he knew, um, everyone knew that Chris Tyson was like a fucking pervert. He he shielded for him to cover his own ass and and so on. Um, I think this is the guy uh, who's threatening to do like a video on him. Why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. Wah, 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 wah. That uh, hold on, let me turn off the music. I'm outside Mr. B's studio right now. Here's a cornfield. I'll explain that tomorrow. Um, I've just been driving by looking uh, to, to see, you know, is there an FBI raid going on? What's happening? My name is Dawson. I worked at Mr. Beast from February to May of this year, 2024. Chris is the, the tip of the iceberg. And when Jake the Viking says, Mr. Beast knew, yeah, Mr. Beast knew. Um, I heard many times that Ava, Chris Tyson, is a major liability, but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action and she knows too much. And when all this information comes out about everything that she knew, everything other people know, I promise you on everything Mr. Beast has done. Amazon, if you can get your money back, get your money back. So there you go. It's coming down. Anybody, I mean, it's just everybody. Uh, if you openly associate with Troons, we know why. There's no Troon on this planet that's safe to associate with. They are sex pests. They are liars. They prey on children. They find it exciting when um, they manage to flip pink pill a child into being a tranny. Uh, they will, they literally, and they, they do this so often. They deliberately go out of their fucking way to entrap a woman with a child before they troon out. They, they do this ahead of time. They plan this. Isn't that fucking nuts? They plan it. That's how fucking insidious they are. So they can put their own kid in high heels and shit. Um, by the way, I think that this is in the community happenings thread. I want to 
I just, I mean, that's just the brief update. I've, I've, um, all this shit was in the forum thread, so there's not really much to go over. Uh, but there is this. I would like to point something out. Oh, is this, uh, I guess I can read through these. Keep it a secret. What's the video, though? I wish you would open that, that message. Oh, wait, here we go. Hey, I don't know if you heard about my bathwater prank and how crazy it's gone, but my stock is actually sold out at the moment. Rather than bringing it back, I'm actually looking to bottle a whole bath on video. Oh, it's Bella Delphine. So we got a message from Bella Delphine, and he's like, keep it a secret. So Chris Tyson was like in contact with Bella Delphine. God, these people are fucking gross, bro. Um... I guess I'll read the whole thing. It's a giant tub and ship it to whoever buys it, 2000. I wanted to reach out in advance because I know this is kind of content Mr. Beast does. I just wanted to give you a heads up. Let me know if this is something he might be interested in. Thanks. This fucking whore tried to, tried to get Mr. Beast to shill her fucking used bathwater. That's fucking vile. That's absolutely disgusting. And Chris, Chris was proud of that and shared that to the 14-year-old. Hey, this prostitute I know is trying to sell her bathwater for $20,000. Isn't that quirky? Teehee, keep it a secret just between us. You're my special friend, so we're, gonna, um, we're going to keep that quiet. This was uh, the other thing, is that Finster decided after... Finster did a whole rebuttal, if you remember, to my uh, tweet chain, saying that he's not... A Minecraft YouTuber. He has not streamed Minecraft in months and months. Oh, new Minecraft update. Back to streaming Minecraft in the Minecraft channel. So let's take a look here. It's Ella Haywood, the goon clown associate who uh, Finster has sworn off. Oh, who, who also did creepy weird pedo shit himself. Oh, there's Eva Chris Tyson. Oh, he's gone. He's outed. He's been canceled from Mr. Beast, and now it's going to cause the entire company to collapse and come under scrutiny. Oh, who's that in the front? Still standing, huh? I wonder how long that's going to take. Do you, do, should I do a poll? Should I do a poll to see how long it takes before other people start talking about this fucking lunatic? Let's do a poll chat. How long are we going to be waiting on this one? Let's do under six months, six months to one year. Over one year. It's just going to be a dull day one day, and people are going to realize, oh, this guy's also fucking creepy. Vote one for under six months. Vote two for six months to one year. Vote three for over one year, chat. Let's see what we're looking at here. I'll let you stare at these fine people. Um, open this on a new tab, actually. So I can manually zoom in so you can see all three at once. Oh, what a happy couple. What a nice little polycule right there. I remember it very explicitly in his defense, by the way, Fenster said, oh, just because I was pictured next to this fucking monster doesn't mean that I did anything wrong. After all, Mr. Beast's Chris Tyson is standing there. Does that mean that he's also a creepy weirdo? Hmm. Checkmate, Gaytheist. <laughs> Good luck with that. All right, get your boots in. Oh, the boots are in. The boots are in. Uh, let's end the poll. With 110 participants, 32 or 30% voted under six months, 57 or 52%, so half of people voted six months to one year, and 20 people voted over one year. So I'll lock it in. Today is July 24th, 2024. Um, we're looking at an early, we're looking at an early 2025 takedown of, of Finster. People are finally going to be like, oh yeah, this guy is fucking creepy and gross. You're right. Thank you, chat. Thank you for locking it in for me. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.